Oh, I want to get away. Do you want to get away? I think we all want to get away. Go on a vacation. Yeah. I mean, some of you and myself, I've traveled a little tiny bit, but I don't know. It's just, I would just like to go somewhere and be on an actual, real, big vacation. Wouldn't that be great? Well, that's what our Mindful Monster this morning is all about. His name is Vacationing Victor. And taking a mindful vacation is Victor's favorite skill. In his mind, he travels to a breezy hill. As he sits, Victor pictures a calm location. He feels the breeze on his face as he enjoys a mindful vacation. Now, what is a mindful vacation, you might ask? Well, good news. A mindful vacation is a vacation that you can take anytime, any place. You can go anywhere from the comfort of your own home or your classroom or your backyard. So I would like to enjoy this next little mindful moment with Vacationing Victor. So today we're going to do a mindful exercise with the help of Vacationing Victor, our mindful monster friend. This mindful monster uses his mind to imagine trips and vacations all over the world to the most calming places. We're going to practice using our minds for vacations today. To prepare, let's begin to control our breathing. Let's inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Take one more deep breath in. Slowly let it go. And close our eyes and push away all of our thoughts. Like we did before, we'll let our thoughts float away like the leaf in the breeze, watching our thoughts float away in our mind. And as you sit with your eyes closed, think about a peaceful place that you have visited or seen pictures of in a movie. We will be taking a short vacation to this place in our minds. What does your place look like? Create the image in your mind. What do you see? What landmarks are there? Buildings, palm trees, beaches, mountains, a lake. What do you see at your place? What is the weather like? Is it warm? Is it cool? Is it hot? What is it like? And as you sit in your peaceful place, think about the sounds that you hear. What is happening around you in that peaceful place? Take a moment and enjoy those peaceful sounds. What feelings does your peaceful place bring to you? Notice those feelings and stay with them for a little while. Enjoy the calm, peaceful setting of your vacation spot and let that calm wash over your body and your mind before you return from your quick vacation. Hmm. How did that feel? You know, you can go to those places anytime. All it takes is just a little imagination and just a few moments out of your day. But let's say you've got a little more than just a few moments. You could try this too. You could go on a slightly longer vacation. 
Now, maybe this is something that you could do at home. And this is something, I'll be honest with you, I have done many times, especially in the past year when I haven't been able to travel, but I've wanted to. I've gone to places like uh, a resort in Japan. I've gone to the Maldives Islands. I've gone so many of these beautiful places and I've had a little moment of relaxation and imagined that I was there. So here's what you can do. I like to start off by just opening up a video of a plane trip, because that's kind of fun, riding on a plane, going somewhere far away, somewhere very different from your home, and traveling up in the sky to get there. So there's lots of plane trips on YouTube, on the internet. You could watch one of those. I'll post a link down in the description, and you could follow one of those. And then go to a place. I'm gonna post a nice little place. I'll post a video of flying over a beautiful uh, vacation spot. Maybe the beach. The beach sounds really nice to me. It's been a long time since I've been to the beach, it feels like. So you can do that. But here's what I would like you to do. You can pack up your things. You don't have to pack many things because you're just probably going out to the back porch. <laughs> if the weather is nice, go to the back porch. If it's too cold or windy or raining or snowing, don't go out to the back porch necessarily. You can do this in your living room, but take a little time away from your regular spot. You know, that kitchen table or your, your desk in your room or wherever you're doing your work mostly in the house. Go out somewhere else. Take a laptop with you maybe and play some of that video out there and lay out in a comfy spot and read a book. That is one of my favorite places favorite things to do when I go to places is to relax somewhere new and read a book I've never read before. And it builds memories of the beautiful adventures in the book and also the beautiful place that I'm at. So I hope you will do that. You can even announce to your family that you will be on vacation for the next, let's say, hour. You could take a whole hour and do this. Go on vacation, Put a peaceful video on with some peaceful music. Sit out in the sunshine and read a book. And take a vacation from everything that's normally around you. And then come back, announce to your family that you've returned and you had a great vacation, and maybe give them all the t-shirts and postcards that you bought for them at the souvenir store. Except there's no souvenir store, so you're gonna have to find some postcards. Maybe you'll have to make some postcards yourself. and t-shirts. I don't know, maybe you find some old t-shirts from past vacations and give those out. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your trip and have a nice vacation in your mind and maybe soon for real. This has been Mr. Thaxton and I hope you have a peaceful and wonderful day. Peace.